and good morning good evening good afternoon students and traders all around the world this is FX freedom broadcasting you live on YouTube hello Dancy how are you and this is Forex trading course 101 everybody remember trading is a learnable skill when we learn in the correct way the three pillars right pillar number one is the market and we're trying to learn about the market with those modules in here pillar number two is the strategy we're going to learn about the strategy in the advanced module and the big one pillar number three is the trader so MST market strategy trader right and talking about the trader what do champion beginner traders always say champion beginner traders always say that I'm not going to live and die on a trade by trade basis and my 50 cents on the left everybody when the market scares you don't be afraid to do the right thing I'm great thank you very much thank you very much waiting for vacation thank you very much and remember everybody 90% of traders lose money in the forex market worldwide there is disclaimer the webinar so the streaming is not for is not trading or investment advice everybody it's for educational purposes only either way don't trade with money you cannot afford to lose for homeworks and questions you have my you have my gmail contact everybody my skype and you can follow me on trading view and remember you know if you are trying to be consistently profitable for one two three four five years plus just remember if your way is not working why don't you try ours that being said Japanese candlestick formations in multiple time frames everybody type in the chat the currency pair that you want to check in the meantime we are on Euro, JB, Euro JPY everybody and we are going to zoom in on the left up corner you have the monthly chart left down corner you have the weekly chart everybody weekly chart right up corner you have the daily chart and right down corner you have the two hour chart <laughs> here is the question how are you going to trade euro JPY probability wise how are you going to trade everybody euro JPY in order to make some pips right you have the monthly chart left up corner weekly chart left down corner daily chart right up corner and the two hour chart right down corner and we are talking about candlestick formations so you have the monthly weekly daily and the two hour this is what is called multiple time frames here is the question do you want to buy your JPY or do you want to sell your JPY right now do you want to stay out what are we going to do Hedge fund trader Dancy, what are we going to do? What do you think, everybody? And what we are trying to learn here is probabilistic thinking. Somebody is going to buy Euro JPY right now. Somebody is going to sell Euro JPY right now. One is going to win on Friday. Somebody else is going to lose on Friday. Just an example. Type in the chat, everybody, long or short. Buy, okay? What time frame? remember everybody if your way is not working why don't you try ours make sense 
Hedge fund trader Dance says buy. Okay, what time frame? Yes, it's all a war. It's all about getting aware how this m uh, trading is a learnable skill when we learn in the correct way. Remember, we're trying to move forward, everybody. Candlestick formation, Japanese candlesticks are number one, tradable patterns and reversal points, number two, entry signals, long on the daily, right? Okay. Everybody, if you go long on the daily right now, what is the mistake? Are there any mistakes in here? If I buy the market right now, you know, what are the mistakes? If your way is not working, traders, errors. Who knows? Type in the chat, everybody. If I buy the market right now, on the daily, you know, what are the traders errors? Traders errors in the sense of probabilistic thinking. Probabilistic thinking. Probabilistic thinking, everybody. Pivot point, well, we don't have it. Maybe yes, right? Resistance, yes sir. What else? Pivot point, yes sir. Resistance, yes sir. What else everybody? So, buying at resistance. Okay, very good, we found one. We found one, right? Buying at resistance, so red, there you go. What else, everybody? If I go long right now, am I buying the short term uptrend or am I buying a short term downtrend? If I buy right now, Am I buying against the short-term downtrend or am I buying with the short-term downtrend? See how this works everybody? Somebody saying wow, right? Wow! This entry, counter trend line break if you want, maybe not the best one, but still, this entry it's totally different from this entry. Agreed everybody? Bullish candlestick formation on the left, bu bullish candlestick formation on the right, but though counter trend line break on the left, counter trend line break on the right, but those two entries are totally different. Downtrend, lower, lower, lower high, exactly. So what's the plan? What's the plan to enter with the higher probability? What is the lesson today everybody? Learn and don't repeat those errors. Okay? Going against the short term trend. Talking about probabilities, this is an error. What else? What else would be wrong right now? Buying resistance, going against the short term trend. What else? Boss, can we enter from the weekly? You can enter everybody from the monthly, weekly, daily or two hour. It's up to you. 
Today the lesson is formation in multiple time frames and how they interact. Hello Allah, how are you? So we need to go short and we break most aggressive trend line. <laughs> Trader Dancy, it's up to you to decide, right? But again, everybody, what is the... Do you see any other errors if you go long right now? You can say long. So, one more time, everybody. On all time frames, choose one time frame. Choose one time frame. You can say long or short or stay out make sense trader dances said long on the daily now we are learning right this is all good and okay so we are learning how not to repeat the same mistakes Allah what is another error if I enter long right now we need to check the weekly, yes sir, but from the daily, if I buy right now, what is the problem? What is the trader error? Who knows everybody? Yes, the left, it's totally different from the right, those two are not the same, right? We learned about candlestick formations. What is the rule for the candle to be valid? Who remembers? Who remembers what is the rule to say, oh, this is the bullish candle or this is the bearish candle or this is the bullish candlestick formation or this is a confirmed counter trend line break? What is the rule? There is something else that would be wrong if you buy right now. Retrace possible, no. Who knows? One more second everybody. You didn't study, did you? There was a weekend, <laughs> I know. You didn't study, right? See everybody? 90% of traders lose money in the forex market worldwide. But trading is a learnable skill. But trading is a learnable skill when we learn in the correct way. How to trade? You can trade as much as you want. If you trade not in the correct way, you are going to be part of the 90% of traders who lose money worldwide. Trading is a learnable skill but 90% lose. You know? You didn't study, huh, everybody? You know? The daily candle is not closed. It's not closed, everybody. This is the trading is a learnable skill when we learn in the correct way. Don't buy candles. So candles and candlestick formations, Japanese candlestick formations are entry signals, are tradable patterns, are reversal patterns. This is the cardinal rule talking about candlestick formations. Don't enter don't buy or short when the candle is not closed see this one prior it went up and down closed kind of a doji right so this is bullish now we entered with the silver line what if the end of the day this goes down and still bearish which most likely is going to happen right probability wise so those are everybody the traders errors if you buy the daily candle right now number one you are buying past resistance 
and you are buying past resistance because you are buying against the downtrend, short term downtrend, and you are buying the daily candle that it's not closed. Trading is a learnable skill, everybody. Golden nugget, remember if your way is not working, why don't you try ours? What is your way that it's not working, everybody? Don't jump. Don't jump into a trade until you see a candle closed. How many of you, how many of us, me too, right? 20 years ago, me too. How many of us we are, oh my gosh, you know, it's bullish and we jump into the market and end of the day we have a losing trade. Because we were impatient and we didn't wait for the candle to close. You know, and if you, it doesn't really matter, somebody's type, oh, but I'm a day trader, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. You could be a day trader, everybody. You could be a day trader, you know, on the 15 minute chart. Make sense? And if you are shorting them if you so this is a closed candle right on the so this would be the entry but if you would enter before this candle is closed you are guilty everybody you are guilty of the same traders error don't jump wait for the candle to close 15 minute chart 2 hour chart daily monthly weekly it's all the same make sense everybody in order to grow up, I'm telling this countless times, people are sick and tired of me in the private classes. I'm telling everybody countless times, you need to make sense out of your losers. If you buy the market right now, you are buying an 80% loser. Oh, I don't agree with you. Based on what you see, you are buying an 80% loser. Downtrend line, huh? If you buy the market in here, you are... And everybody, this is the lesson today. You don't need this kind of losers, make sense? Oh, but the market can go up. Not 7 times out of 10. The market can go up. I don't agree with you. Not 7... Seven times out of ten, this is a losing setup. Look what you are buying. Trade what you see. Do we or do we have not a short term downtrend line? Yes, but not long term, right? Somebody's going to yell at me, you know, the smart guy, the smart trader, right? Yes, boss, but not the long term. Are you buying the long term? Are you buying the long term? The smart guys, the smart traders, smart girls, you know, are you buying this one or are you buying candlestick formations? See how this works everybody? Don't mix apples with bananas. If you buy this daily candle right now, you are guilty, you are responsible that you are buying a resistance, you are going against the short term downtrend daily candle it's not closed this is an 80 percent loser losing setup trader julius i will never buy a bullish candlestick formation in a higher time frame because it is a reversal on smaller time frame well it's also an entry signal right so everybody, if this is wrong, what's the plan? This is how we learn, right? We all make errors, we all make mistakes, not a problem, not a big deal. Okay, traders errors. The, the correct, the correct trading plan. The correct trading plan. 
do this every day everybody and you are going to be better and better and better so traders errors what is the correct plan if it's wrong for me to buy resistance what, what is the plan what's the plan buying resistance is wrong what's the plan well if buying resistance is wrong buy best support right we've learned this forex course 101 buy best support this is the correct plan trading is a learnable skill we've all done this everybody make sense don't be harsh on yourself buying resistance is wrong so i need to wait from the daily for the market to break a hard high get back down and then go long right this is past resistance this is the red one is resistance this is past support buying resistance is wrong but <laughs> One more time. Buy. There you go. Thank you very much. So wait for the market to go up, 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 up. Break this high. When is going to break the high? And watch these lessons five times. It's all the same. This is how the market works on the 15 minute chart, two hour chart, four hour chart, daily, monthly, weekly. Wait for the market to break this high. When the market is going to break this high, is not going to be in a downtrend anymore. It's going to signal the first reversal, the first uptrend leg. Then wait for the market to come down to pass support and buy pass support. Everybody are you going to buy pass support when the market touches pass support or going are you going to buy pass support when the market closes the daily candle see how this works if your way is not working why don't you try ours the, we're going to wait 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 for the market to make a higher high we're going to wait for the market to reverse to pass support we want to buy pass support we don't want to buy resistance we want to buy pass support are you going to buy pass support when the market hit pass support or are you going to buy pass support when the market closes the bullish candle wow right this is something valuable to learn don't keep repeating those mistakes everybody then see wait for counter trend line and bearish candlestick formation to go short but we need to check confirmation time frame too yes sir so bypass support and going against the short on trend here not anymore the daily candle is not closed so what is the correct trading plan bypass support buy at bullish candle close okay everybody this is the errors those are the errors normal nothing special we've all done this but this is the correct trading plan buying when market close by the candle above pass support not just above pass support wait buy pass support everybody thank you Dancy, for explaining everybody again this is the downtrend okay and the market is going to do something like this now this is going to be the breakout everybody this is going to be the breakout make sense so this is the this is resistance this is support the green is support right the green is support transparency there you go the red is resistance 
the green is support this entry compared to this entry those are two different entries everybody which one has a greatest chance a greatest probability the first as Dancy said you know you can you can buy when the market closes a bullish candle so the body is closed it's above support is this does this one have a greatest chance or does this one have a greatest chance which one it's all about probabilistic thinking which one is better and here is the correct trading plan bypass support which one is bypass support everybody is the first one bypass support or is the second one bypass support which one is bypass support ah you are learning dancy congratulations second one this is not bypass support everybody this is a breakout and sometimes the breakout does this right it was a fall <laughs> it was a false breakout right oh this is something valuable to learn right but in order to trade like this if your weights not working why don't you try why don't you try ours you need to be patient even on the 15 minute chart be patient for the market to show you what is going to do oh but the market still will go up it break the high well this is still a guessing game in here you are guessing make sense because when the first extension like those are one of the first lessons after the extension what must come a retracement exactly so if you buy this breakout hear me out pay attention focus if you buy this breakout and if you put your stop loss down in here if the market goes in a deeper retracement you are still going to lose see how this works everybody the best probability is this one wait for the market to break a higher high or the high wait wait for the market to stop going in a downtrend making lower lows or highs wait for the market to make the first higher high wait for the market to retrace and buy pass support somebody's typing oh this is a lot of waiting it is it is this is not a sprint everybody this is a marathon you are playing chess with the market here you are a bad chess player believe me here you are a better chess player market do this always when i sleep yeah happens time to time so everybody long or short euro jpy hedge fund trader density do you want to short the market or do you want to go long and everybody else you can type different currency pairs in the chat not a problem euro jpy is just an example today so density said i want to go long on the daily change his mind now Dancy wants to go short on what time frame? Everybody, give me give me a second. I need to <clears throat> I need to take something.
Okay, sorry about that. Market do this daily, short the daily. Then she want to short the daily. Okay. What others think? I'm alone versus the market. Teacher Dancy, do you want to short this bullish candle? Hedge fund trader Dancy, you are the teacher, we are the student. Boss, isn't risky for us to short this bullish candle? Isn't this risky everybody? So what's the plan, right? What's the plan? Well, draw as Dancy said, draw a counter trend line break and wait for the bearish candle closed body bearish candle or bearish candlestick formation to appear. This would be a plan, right? Somebody is asking how you make decisions. Great question, everybody. How you make decisions? Great question. So this is the concept. Trading concept. Trading concept. You make, you decide, you decide based on the previous candle or candlestick formation everybody trading concept if your way is not working why don't you try ours trading concept so if you cannot decide based on this bullish candle which is moving up and down still is forming you decide based on the previous candle or candlestick formation. Make sense, everybody? Wow, right? And now you can understand how to trade retracements. How to trade retracements. So trading concept, everybody. If you cannot go long because this is going up and down, you decide based on the previous. So the entry was here to go long. Right? The previous one. This is a, still kind of a doji, but it closed up. The long tail is down. This was the entry. See how this works, everybody? You wait for the candle to close, just an example, this is not trading or investment advice, you know, this is the closed, you would enter at the closing, you would be in a profit right now, right, one for one, make a profit, intraday traders, day traders, great question everybody, how you decide, you decide based on the previous candle or candlestick formation. Trader Julius and Trader Dance and everybody else, what we're going to do here, long or short? This is Euro JPY weekly chart now. We need to check the weekly also, sure. How would you trade Euro JPY weekly chart? Talking about Japanese candlesticks? Everybody, do you want to go long or short? Do you want to do you want to buy the white or do you want to sell the blue? What do you want to do on the one hour, two hour, four hour chart, whatever? Somebody's typing exactly we need to check the we need to check the monthly too. Yes, sir. Can we draw market wave? It doesn't going to help you everybody. The market wave is not going to help you. 
because we are talking about candlestick formations this is the market wave is not going to help you make sense everybody the market wave is general direction the candlestick formations and the candles are tradable patterns and entry signals when the market closes on Friday like this what are you going to do on Monday on Euro JPY but it's the same question for all currency pairs you are seeing something like this on Friday market close what you're going to do on Monday when the market is like this do you want to go long on all time frames or do you want to go short on all time frames what do you want to do freedom this is not the easy one yes this is why I chose Euro JPY you cannot learn just with the easy stuff you need to think right it's a probability game where is the everybody it's it's really not that difficult trade what you see there is no right or wrong where is the probability this market on Friday should push down or should push up based on what you see and being more specific what do you mean being more specific talking about the weekly chart the daily it's a little bit different the two hour it's a little bit different too the smaller time frame the shorter the setup the, the less time is going to take to materialize the bigger the time frame the more time is going to need again the swing to continue based on what you see from the weekly should you try to go long or short everybody based on what you see market wave it's up but this is not going to help you we've learned the concept everybody you cannot win on the one hour two hour four hour chart based on the monthly weekly perspective freedom can you repeat please yes sir you cannot win on the one hour two hour four hour chart from the monthly weekly perspective why not boss because those are too far apart look at the swings I see that the market pushed down exactly exactly congratulations to you trader Dancy trade what you see the market was making higher highs higher lows broke the short term uptrend line you know and closed it's not the best one but still this is kind of bearish make sense so even though there is no right or wrong on the daily because the weekly pushed bearish on the daily it's better to i mean we are playing chess with the market but for the time being we need to wait and try to short the market somebody's asking how do you play chess with the market this is the chess game I'm going to wait for the market or break this counter trend line with the bearish body candle closed on the other side of the uptrend line or I'm going to wait for the market to break this high in here and then I'm going to buy this is me playing chess with the market does this make sense to everybody do you understand everybody that if you buy the two hour chart 
probability wise you are you set up your trade for destruction you set yourself up for destruction everybody do you see if you bought this two hour candle probability wise for, yes I mean it's a probabilistic job everybody makes sense if you buy this market on the two hour chart based on everything that we said and the market goes up you won't buy luck You didn't win because you are smart and you understand probabilistic thinking. You win because you won by luck, everybody. Boss, why luck if it goes up? Because you bought the two hour chart when the daily is making lower lows, lower highs, and you bought the two hour chart on past resistance from the daily. And the market is below the downtrend line so on the two hour chart if the market does this you won't buy luck I don't agree with you well remember if your way is not work you can disagree <laughs> you can disagree as much as you want fair enough but I'm telling you you can disagree as much as you want you know but Remember, if your way is not working, why don't you try ours? Make sense, everybody? A little bit of psychology. Until I accept that my way is not working, until I accept that this would be a lucky winner, I cannot improve my trading. Make sense? Why not? Because I'm, I think that I'm smart. I'm doing all the different things against rules, against concepts, and sometimes because of random distribution, sometimes I win and I'm thinking about, I'm talking to myself and I'm saying to myself, oh, I knew it, you know, I was right. You cannot improve if you are right, everybody. Does this make sense to you? Humble yourself. Humble yourself and accept that this was a lucky winner. And if you are going to approach trading as an institution, like Dukascope Investment Bank, you are going to see that 7 times out of 10, those are losing trades, losing entry, loser. You don't need to believe me, do your own analysis. Make sense? And lastly, you know, before you short the market on the weekly, what is the monthly telling you? Which one is the decision candle, everybody? The blue one or the white one? You must make a decision to go long or short for the week. Which one are you going to listen to? The blue one or the white one? Julius, I will go short, short term. If you want to short the market on the two hour chart right now, boss, but isn't it risky to short the market right now? Look at this daily. Oh, freedom, you are playing with us. I'm not. I'm not. I'm trying to teach you. If you short the market on the two hour chart right now, you are entering prematurely. You are entering prematurely, everybody. Agreed, everybody? See how this works? Traders' errors. You are entering prematurely. Everybody, you have a widget here. Click on it, and you are going to see it's a great tool widget see here come on see here you have the time count down to candle close so this two hour candle is going to close in one hour and 13 minutes 
Oh, I need to wait for one hour and 30 minutes. Sure, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Go out, have fun, read the book. Take a walk with your friends and family, you know, play with your children, take a walk with your dogs. Go to drink a cup of coffee. Wait for one hour and 30 minutes because if you short the market right now, you are guilty. It's not the broker, it's not the mentor, it's not the course, it's not the teacher. You are guilty of the trader errors. You are entering the market prematurely. The same way we need to wait for the daily candle to close before we make a decision, probabilistic thinking, in the same way we need to wait for the two hour candle to close and the 15 minute candle to close and the weekly candle to close and the monthly candle to close depending on what time frame you are trading make sense everybody we'll close candle and full down you don't know how this candle is going to close Allah don't rate what you think. Wait for the market to give you signals. Make sense, everybody? And if this candle in two hours is going to close bearish and you are going to go short, is this a high probability trade or is this a low probability trade? You are going to improve everybody to the point that you are going to patiently wait for the next 1 hour and 13 minutes and you are going to see this candle closed bearish on the 2 hour chart. You are going to short the market. Is this a high probability trade or low? Freedom, this is too complex. It's not. Watch this webinar streaming videos a few times every time frame has its own probability everybody don't confuse apples with bananas hedge fund trader julius hedge fund trader ala hedge fund trader dancy if you see this bearish candle closed on the two hour chart and if you short the market in here and you put the stop loss above in here somewhere whatever might be the case is this a high probability setup to go short or low congratulations Dancy low low car ala congratulations Now you've learned something everybody, now you understand, right? Can you trade like this? Patiently wait for all the reasons to show, patiently wait for all the convergences to show, patiently wait for the market to show you what is going to do next. Patient, it's a part. Scalpers excluded. Scalpers don't need to be patient. Scalper, you go on a five minute chart and you just scalp candlestick formations. But day traders and swing traders and the other traders, you need to be patient. Everybody. If your way is not working, why don't you try ours? If you are trading low probability setups, start to trade high probability setups. Learn patience. Make sense, everybody? Learn patience, learn to obey the rules, write down your errors, read your errors, and don't repeat your errors. And your trading is going to improve, I promise you. Trading is a learnable skill when we learn in the correct way. This is now today the correct way.
you identify the errors not a problem not a problem just make a trading plan ok everybody after this beautiful sermon from FX Freedom see you back tomorrow until tomorrow stay strong and trade for freedom everybody you want to be free right this is FX Freedom signing